Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is danger. The scripture comes from the testaments of the 12 patriarchs, the testament of Judah, the fourth son of Jacob and Leah. Thirteen and eight, and the Lord rewarded me according to the imagination of my heart, inasmuch as I had no joy in her children. Mm. So here's the message. So here's the message. God is saying for somebody, um, don't, if God leads you to somebody and tells you that that person is your spouse, that is your husband, that is your wife, don't think that it's cool for you to go and lay with somebody else because then you're going to put yourself in a position to where you're going to have this vibe right here. And the Lord rewarded me according to the imagination of my heart. And as much as I had no joy in her children. So he basically saying that he laid with somebody, you know, right before that, he said he transgressed the commandment of the Lord and the commandment of my fathers and took this woman to be his wife. But when it really came down to it, he didn't want to be with her. God says it's the reason that he sent you to people. It's the reason that he will tell you somebody is your husband, somebody is your wife. It's not a situation where God is not going to lead you to somebody that, you know what I'm saying, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you're going to be sitting around moping, crying, sad, depressed. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sleeping in two different rooms. Y'all don't even want to look at each other, let alone speak to each other. You know what I'm saying? You, you sitting at the table with this person asking them if they could breathe quieter okay like uh, you know what i'm saying like have you ever heard somebody say like you do you know how much you gotta hate somebody to not to want them to stop breathing for their breath them breathing being a bother to you god said you know what i'm saying marriage is deeper than that you know what i'm saying i can say that's one thing that i learned you know what i'm saying you have to understand that when you with somebody you connected to somebody you married to somebody it's not just about um you have to understand nobody is perfect. First of all, it's going to be ups and downs. There are going to be things where you're going to feel as though that person may have transgressed uh, on you. You may feel like they did you wrong this, they did you wrong that, this happened, that happened. But when it really comes down to it, you love that person so much that it don't matter what they do. It don't matter what they did. Y'all still going to be able to come back together and feel as if y'all besties. Um, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, God is not going to want you to be with somebody that's just wild, you know, wilding out on you because that'll make you hate somebody. Even, a, you know what I'm saying? A best friend. Okay. As I, uh, y'all already know what I know. Okay. Y'all, if y'all, you, you can bury your best friend. If your best friend is acting a fool to such an extent, they lustful and disrespectful, then you know what I'm saying? That, that love and that smile could change real quick. But you want to be with somebody that, you know what I'm saying, you will be able to build with that. You know what I'm saying? That Like you can look at the pros and the cons and you know what I'm saying? The pros outweigh the cons. Um, You, you want to be with somebody that you can get along with, that you can sit around and laugh and joke with. You know what I'm saying? You want to be with somebody that you fit in with. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, y'all, every day is not going to be perfect. Every day is not going to be a day where, you know what I'm saying, of celebration. But understand that even on the bad days that you and this person, y'all still going to work it out. You know what I'm saying? Even on the bad days, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I know me, I want the kind of person that I can be mad all I want to. And they'll say something to make me laugh and make me upset, but happy at the same time. And I just feel like, for whoever this is for, God is saying he is going to lead you to someone where you and this person, I like, I'm even having a hard time explaining this. And I think that's part of the message, an unexplainable drawing to each other. And it's going to be a bond that can't be broken. 
it's a difference between, you know what I'm saying, just being cool with somebody as long as they making you happy or as long as they doing things right. But, you know what I'm saying, when you see they worse, it's like, you know what I'm saying, it put a bad taste in your mouth, make you want to go and vomit. And being with somebody, you know what I'm saying, even when they make you upset, even when they at their worst, it's a situation where you just like, you know what I'm saying, I, I you, you, you deal with them later, you know what I'm saying, you talk to them later, sleep it off, walk it off, go to the store, whatever, and you know what I'm saying, y'all right back at it, y'all good. And I just feel like God is saying that, um, he sees things that we can't see. He sees far ahead from what we can see. And because of this, God says he wants you to understand, trust him. Don't put yourself in a position where you are in the danger of being feeling like this here, where you can't even take joy and your children, because you chose to get with somebody that you don't even like like that. You don't care about them like that. You don't love them like that. And then just like in the very, the last message, message I just, you know what I'm saying, recorded, like there are men that will go around calling the woman that carried their children evil, wicked, they hate her, and they talking down this and they talking down that. Maybe you shouldn't have laid down with her. If you feel that way, why in the world would you even like deal with the part? Like, why would you build a relationship with somebody that you hate? Where's the logic in that? Make me understand. Make me understand. And then most of these men that be talking like this, they act sweet as pie up in the woman's face. But as soon as she turned around, they rolling their eyes, they cutting their eyes, they got all the negative stuff to say, and they turning this person against them, and they hate them because of this, and they hate them because of that. Why in the world do you carry on dealing with somebody to such an extent that you got them pregnant that, that you hate? That's a you problem. You did that to yourself. Just like this is what he's saying here. He didn't listen to God. He didn't listen to his fathers. And he went ahead and ended up in a situation where he felt miserable. He can't blame her. All he can blame is himself. And this is coming, like, you know what I'm saying? Coming from somebody that saw the other side of it. I feel like this message is the other side. Like, like really, in reality, you know what I'm saying? As a man, as a grown man, if you know good and well you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody, why in the world would you lay down with them? That's literally what it's for. It's to create babies. It's to create life. That's what the act is for. So why are you performing that act with somebody that you don't want kids with? Why are you performing an act where two become one with somebody that you don't want to become one with? That's your fault. And that's what God said. You put yourself in the position that you were in. That's your bad. You can't turn around and blame this one and blame that one. Ain't nobody trap you. It's a decision. A long line of decisions that you got to make in order to get yourself to a place to where you are having a baby with somebody you don't want to be in a relationship with. This is a decision that you made. You chose to go down the path that you went down. You chose to have a child with who you had a child with. You you know what I'm saying? I've seen with my own eyes. You know what I'm saying? I know from uh my perspective where they literally will ask, well, I want a baby. I want a baby. I want a baby. Then the baby is, is, is on the way or the baby is born. I didn't want a baby. I don't know what you're talking about. Da, 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 da. Ain't nobody got time for that. God said you did it to yourself. So how you going to be mad? Make it make sense. How can you fix your mouth to call the woman that sacrificed her life to bring your child into this world evil? When you should say that about yourself because you allowed this woman to risk her life bringing your child into this world knowing good and well you did not love her, you did not care about her, and you had zero intentions of marrying her. Now, who is really evil? You have left her to live a life of shame as a single mother, but you want to fix your mouth and call her evil and wicked because how dare she get pregnant? Like, that's literally what else were you expecting? What was she supposed to do? What, what do you think would happen? Like, I'm, I'm serious. If you are over 18 years old and you, 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 you should seriously know what happens when you lay down with somebody, when two come together, what did you think? 
<laughs> the other foolery for whoever this, this is nonsense. What did you think was gonna happen? Of course, yes, yes. That's that's what it's for. That is what it's for. That's the whole point. And if you didn't want to have a baby with her, you should have left her alone. That part. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.